Hey, welcome back, Mr. Wolf here. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to do what's called a standing overhead press, okay? Um, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is the setup, as always. Um, so I need to adjust my bar and my, and my pins, okay? To where it's high enough, excuse me, I almost tripped over that safety bar. Um, to where it's high enough to, I'm gonna unrack the bar right here at my chest, okay? Um, this is pretty good height. I'm gonna go up probably one more setting, I think, for myself. Okay. I'm gonna be right about there. All right. You'll notice when I'm adjusting these pins right now, I'm gonna take the bar out with one hand, okay, and then I'm gonna move the pin with the other. If you can't do it that way, you can always remove the bar, set it to the ground, and then adjust the pins, okay? Um, in this video, we're gonna go ahead and utilize our safety bars, finally, all right? Um, you can use the safety bars for the bench as well, especially if you're by yourself um, and you're lifting very heavy, okay? You can set those bars to where if you were to dump the bar, the bar wouldn't collapse on you in a way that it would hurt you, all right? But for this exercise, and I strongly encourage everybody when they're in the weight room to utilize these safety bars I'm gonna take these safety bars here and I'm gonna set them pretty high, okay? So I'm gonna take the bar here off the floor. All right, here we go. And I'm gonna set this guy nice and high here. Okay, right about there. All right. Grab the other bar. Set that nice and high here, okay? So I got my bar set where I want them, okay? Um, here's my... Here's my, uh, my barbell right here at the height I want, okay, so I can get underneath it. Again, I probably could be about a setting or two higher, all right, from, from where I'm at in regards to the bar of my chest. It'll work. I'll just have to get underneath it a little bit, bend my knees, okay, nothing wrong with that, all right? Um, so let's talk about the execution of the movement, okay? Standing overhead press. I want my hands, again, you hear me use this term a million times in weight training now in these videos, shoulder width apart, okay? Whether I'm talking about my feet or my hands, I want my hands at least shoulder width apart um, for this movement as well, okay? So I get my hands set on the bar where I want them, okay? I get underneath the bar, all right? So here I am underneath the bar. The bar is sitting right here on my chest, okay? My hands are holding the bar. I want my back nice and straight when I do this, okay? So I'm gonna go from right here, I'm gonna press Pull the stop at the top here like this. I don't stop very long like I just did, but come back down. Okay, one more time. Press, okay, hold the top right here. You'll notice when I press, I tuck my chin back, all right? So watch my chin. My chin kind of tucks back and I press, okay? I finish with the my arms and the bar in line with my body. It's not behind me. It's not out in front of me. It's in line with my body, all right? You can't see my feet, but guess what my feet look like? They're shoulder width apart, okay? I'm gonna come back down to my chest one more time. I have to adjust my hands here just a little bit. You might too, okay? Get used to this. I'm not bending back a while with my back. I'm not leaning forward, okay? I'm in a nice, good, straight up posture. Push, come to the top, okay? Come back down, all right? That's a standing overhead press. Um, until next time.